print yourself on your own 3D printer. This is Odyssey, our latest design. Be the first to get this incredible design only on my mini factory, Frontiers. Yes, welcome to this very uh, selfish episode of our weekly update here at Second Dynasty. We make 3D printable spaceships. I'm your host, Ben, changing things up a little bit today. Uh, Alvin is out getting a copy of a key. He'll be back shortly. Otherwise, it's just me in the office today with this surprise-ish stream. Uh, we noticed that we're about 30 hours away from uh, making YouTube partnership. And uh, usually just one of these streams, if we get, uh, you know, 30 people that just run it, that will do us for uh, making that milestone. So we thought we'd do a little push surprise stream. I'll be extra in the chat today. Hey, uh, John, uh, Rutger, uh, Philip, welcome back. Hope your Kickstarter is going well. Um, <laughs> coming up. Conning us into yes, that was the idea with the title. Um, the uh, I was being a bit cheeky there. Uh, of course, last week we had a session uh, where we were working on the Odyssey. Let me just uh, switch up this scene a little so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, I don't have my lighting on. This isn't the full picture, and you can see there's some clipping going on here. That's all to do with um, the camera. Uh, I can fix that, but I may need to get in close. And view things. Uh, so yeah, on Friday, uh, I haven't done very much more on this model today, uh, but we have. Let me isolate this. The current work in progress on the bridge. You can see it hasn't been mirrored here because I am working uh, on the downstairs. You might say. Um, and I'd actually like some feedback from you guys. So uh, I switched things up instead of having. Um, I looked at the bridges of a couple of famous ships. Uh, that are my inspiration point. Uh, for example, here is the Arcadia. It's kind of hard to make out, I know, uh, but it is Captain Holock's ship, for anyone who's not familiar with it. Uh, this version uh, was designed by my favorite mechanical designer, which is not uh, Kawamori uh, Shoji. It's actually uh, Miyatake, his partner, who did all the ships from Macross. He's also done Gunbuster, he's done the Arcadia, he also uh, did the layout for the Yamato 2199 version, uh, amongst others, he's a legend, and uh, yeah, so I kind of looked at the inspiration of a number of different vessels, I even looked at some Gundam ones, but I wasn't really grabbed in the same way, and you can kind of see here how I've started to break things up a bit, um, maybe we can put some lighting on, I don't know. It is a bit strong, that lighting, um, but yeah, you can kind of get a, a better idea for the shapes and for how this might work. Uh, so yes, uh, hello, is it Friday already? Hey Dalton. Um, no, uh, yeah, surprise stream. Basically, we're just uh, 30 hours away from making partners on YouTube. I don't know what it means for us. Technically, it means we can run ads. Uh, I don't know if we're actually gonna do that. For me, it's more important that you know we grow the community more the more people that see our ships might mean that there are more sales down the lines or more awareness of our brand and whatnot so yeah this is coming along quite nicely i feel um these wings on the side here will be optional so if you'd rather i'll probably actually make everything optional here so that if you would rather have uh, no antenna if you're looking for more like a submarine sort of um configuration we could go for that um, but yeah I'm gonna kill the lighting the lighting is strong there because the actual render lighting needs to be stronger um, so yeah it's an imperfect thing so I thought we'd just hang out for like a usual stream length maybe slightly longer <laughs> run your own ads I kind of do at the beginning um, the bright lighting is where the wave motion is <laughs> nice oh and of course I've forgotten to turn all kinds of things off here so I'm just going to Close my email program and I'm going to mute uh, my Dropbox notifications and hopefully uh, that won't uh, leave too many things popping up anymore. So, uh, 
progress wise i've just sort of like not fully but figured out you know the shape that i want at the back here i kind of wanted to re-expose this i need to think about how uh, the rear is going to sit here because on the chimera um, the bulkhead would be would look more like this let's see i hope i have snapping on there so the bulkhead would be here and on the odyssey the bulkhead is here so we need probably uh, two different variants of this uh, to sort of sort that out um, but you know i think uh, i think it'll be acceptable um, the finished version you can kind of see here what i've started working on uh, as far as the connectors are concerned, there is quite a space under here. And if I actually uh, get my, uh, sorry, my channel box up, uh, we can hide some of these layers. So you can see kind of down into the bridge itself. And then underneath the bridge, we have quite a cavity. And there's a few different ways I'm thinking of going. Uh, one is that we have additional machinery and like a secondary bridge down here because we didn't really have crew space for everyone upstairs. Like if we look up here, uh, this only has four positions at present, including the captain. Uh, you know, we could get rid of the fresher and uh, move that somewhere else upstairs. Um, and there is more room towards the back. We probably don't need to have two airlocks. Uh, it's maybe a bit excessive. Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely decided, uh, but you know, I wasn't really feeling it on Friday, but this morning I just woke up, I got to work and I'm just like, yeah, I'm feeling it. So, um, the other thing I was thinking about having down here is what if this was your captain's quarters and we actually like put a window in here. So imagine you're the captain and you've got this view out the front of the ship. How do people feel about that? You hear Albin is back. Albin is back. Back again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. We can deal with that afterwards. Um, so yeah, basically those are a couple of my ideas. Let me just catch up with uh, the chat here. Hmm. Just when I was about to spam your Dropbox with a million files. Yeah, well, Dalton, that can just wait until the end of the stream. I mean, technically, we could go through all of that, but um, I don't know. I, I don't want to... I'm, I'm kind of... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, it's been a sunny day today, so Alvin's been particularly chirpy. Uh, let's see. Send him some spam next stream. Skyagra, extend your space... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can be for a shuttle or landing party. No, the front part here is way too small. Um, let's see. Uh, I say add a weapons locker under the bridge. Uh, <laughs> Rutka gets it. <laughs> uh, a beer fridge. Common. We need something practical. <laughs> Come on. We need something practical and most likely used in the future. Yeah, that, that would be the HMAS. <laughs> Uh, Odyssey there with the beer, walk-in beer fridge. Um, or a ready room slash planning slash war room. Um, true, we could put, like, uh, on our original bridge, uh, let me just uh, un-isolate this. Of course, on our original bridge, we do have this uh, holographic floor there. That would actually make a lot of sense and would be less work. So uh, it could be, yeah, just screens and a place to gather and talk strategy. I kind of like that idea. Um, a ready room for tactical meetings kind of fits in with that, yeah. Uh, it's not like I have not spammed you before with Dropbox. Oh, you spammed us to the point where we uh, had no hard drive space left. Uh, it's still an issue on considering a purchase of a, a new uh, solid straight state drive. Um, to because my my dropbox one is only one gig and i think maybe if i fork out for two i'll, I'll actually be able to use my computer uh we we will see but yeah uh so you can kind of see bits and bobs here i'm not incredibly sold on the placement of the ladder well either uh because at present the ladder well would come out to let's see if i turn off the deck 
a hole there and I move this over I can show you where it aligns to so it is right above here and um, if we drop that down you can kind of see like technically you can get past it but it doesn't feel right does it um, so there are a couple of options on the table potentially uh, one would be we move it back one and technically it looks like it would fit um, but if I moved it back one I would want to move it back one and in half an inch so over here which aesthetically creates some problems right uh, the reason being like if we moved it back right here we go uh, it would end up here and the lower deck there we probably want a custom uh, version with the wall open here but it wouldn't feel very intrusive right um, so that's option one option two would be um, that we actually move it forward to somewhere like here and that would let us place this let's see uh, I'm going to delete that and we'll copy this one again I'm sorry Dalton, I tried to resurrect the scene that I made on Friday, but nothing works. Everything's completely crashed, which means I have to redo it. Um, and at the moment, don't want to put in too much time. Let's see, so you would move the control panel, which is really not fixed in one place anyway. Um, but here it's less intrusive, right? That would be up to the next story. Um, so that's, that's another possibility. Um, and then that will come up, whoops, that will come up under the uh, the fresher here. So we would just need to move the fresher, but I mean, that's not an issue. Um, what is an issue is um, that would also leave us with some additional, uh, let's see would leave us with some additional wasted space around it it might be all right with this thinking about it like if we just put like a quarter square there um, but there is no slots to really slot that floor into um, so it's it's not ideal although technically if it's in that place technically um, we would have to like redo all of the partitions here, but you could place this like here, which would probably feel even less intrusive, uh, to be honest. So there's a couple of different options. I don't know exactly what I'm liking the most right now. That does kind of look cool in an alcove there dropping down, doesn't it? Let's see what people are saying. Um, Let's see, forward torpedo room, uh, no worries, I'm busy compiling what I already have. I imagine you are. So yeah, th those are some of the options. I kind of do like the way that looks, but I have a feeling, oh yes, here's our other problem. Yeah, it works on that level, but it would not work on the level below. Let's see if I align that, we've got it sticking out there. So that's a no-go, uh, which is a shame. Um, so I don't know there's there's a couple of things like again if we change the partition here um, the, there's this awkward wall anyway we could definitely uh, do something with that and it probably wouldn't feel too bad um, but yeah I like the ladder more forward hmm well should I listen to you or not <laughs> uh, yeah, so I I think I think it doesn't look too bad here. It will be a bit of a nightmare to plan the floor, um, and I think that could be done. But we might have to solve it with the ladder being a separate object. So it is a shame. The other thing we could do is you could put the ladder on an awkward angle so that it actually uh, you know it it starts off down the bottom there, but then you know. It's kind of like a few steps at the base or something like that. So it's not perfectly um, misaligned. I don't know. That Does that seem awkward to you guys? Uh, if you make an angled ladder or stairs on the lower level. 
Um, Glitch will probably just mod it themselves anyway. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, but we do, I am thinking about modability. And uh, one of the ways that we do that is this split here, basically that you can extend it. So I'm gonna make sure that's a possibility. Um, it will mean having a secondary piece in here. <laughs> uh, Belgians. Belgians, huh? Can't be trusted. Can't be trusted. Uh, always yeah. going on about their waffles. Yeah, waffling about their... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Basically, layout is what I'm thinking of. Exterior aesthetic is what I'm thinking about. Um, I don't know if I should maybe ditch one of the airlocks. But then I don't know what we would put in there anyway. I guess if you wanted to do that, we have walls that you could put in instead um so yeah i don't know what do you guys think about the current direction <laughs> love the ears so cute uh fireman's pole yeah i mean that it still would need to be crooked if it's going in there um the other thing is that we just stick it in the center and do something down here or or that we just uh you know kind of kind of have an open ladder i guess that would be an option where it's like um we actually remove this is a copy right so um we could technically like ditch i'm just going to do a very quick and dirty job here get rid of some of these this geometry uh, let's go down to the base here why is that not selecting Okay, that's an end gone, that's why. Fancy end guns. I don't actually fancy them at all. Uh, so we're just going to go down to here, drop all of this off a cliff. We'll do the same on the other side. Why isn't that working? There we go. Whilst I'm feeling inspired today, my computer thinks it's mm -hmm. Monday. So yeah, just to illustrate a point, I'm gonna rip all of this geometry off. Oh, that's still attached. Let's see if we get rid of all of that. That should be it, yep. All right, so it's its own separate thing, right? Uh, and that could technically just slot in anywhere along this uh, passage and wouldn't feel too out of place, right? You could still clear that all right, especially if we don't have this like well in the bottom. Um, so that that would be one alternative. Uh, and, you know, again, we could potentially put it like there. And that feels quite natural, actually. Uh, although it isn't towards the front as suggested and we probably still do we still have that issue that we were discussing? Let's see. Uh, if I just put that, um, where's that gotta be? Do, do, do. Up one more. Over here. It's nice to see so many people tuning in despite the, uh, the fact that it's an off day. We've got 11 people. Uh, so all I need to do is keep this going for another 80 minutes. No, I'm kidding. Um, could, uh, uh, let's see, like on the beta, have the ladder be like on the beta? Well, I mean, the beta is kind of like offset in the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna look and see where this would land us. Uh, of course, if we turn on the hole there that's sticking up with a half inch uh, from the inset so a half inch from here would place it there which it would work to come up on that level just if we had a slanted roof and then if you had like a second ladder well in a different placement it would work but i, I don't know 
and not feeling that as much. Uh, and where did we have the other one? That's if we uh, if we were going to put that over here, then we would need. I think the thing to do is to move the pivot point to the edge. Whoops. So that's meant to be there. Pivot point should be there. Then if we just move this over to parallel with that, we get our final position, which is yeah where the where we had placed the ladder well before. So, um, hmm. So the best bet is probably actually having this offset. Yeah, the only reason I don't like this is the way that it. Oh, I just had an idea that might make it better. What if we're thinking about this all wrong and we put it like there, so it is a straight up and down, uh, but that up and down, obviously we need to, to change a few things to, to get this to work, uh, is in a different orientation which, hear me out, um, we leave the placement of this here, the ladder wells there, but you still have room here to have some kind of lockers or something, right? Let's see. Um, oh, the ladder in the middle deck does not need the sliding bottom bit, right? Uh, it depends if there's going to be a ladder. Like, uh, you mean on deck A? Personal matter transporter pad would solve all problems. Yes, except I'm not sure we have enough power in the universe to do that. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole thing with Star Trek and transporters. It's like you've got to really firmly believe there is no soul <laughs> before you're hopping into one, to the, one of those things. Or maybe it's soul jumping. Who knows? I'm sure there's some nerd out there or some... Uh, theologian that loves star trek that's done a whole <laughs> a whole uh philosophy of, of what uh the implications of transporters are um so yeah i'm kind of liking this what are you guys thinking of that placement if we have like lockers or something in there you think the doors on the lockers would open well there i think they would actually pretty well uh, do we have any lockers? I I guess we've got the insert ones. Let's let's see if we can open those up. Uh, set dressing. Uh, we've got some lockers here, right? Um, let's grab these ones. Duplicate them. Move them up. Mm -mm -mm. Could be like a suit locker too, really. Although technically, you probably. I mean, the, the floor is going to be closed off, right? I guess that is a bit of a hassle to get to. I don't know. I'm just looking for good solutions here. So say, say you have some lockers there. But, yeah. Even if the ladder wheel is closed, it doesn't quite feel right, does it? Hmm. Ah... <sighs> I don't know, guys. I think the doors on the lockers would open well there. I've already read that. Uh, by lockers, I mean John's special lockers. Right, you're yeah, the ones that actually open. They base you. Um, but yeah, that ladder well would take us down to right there. A little bit off to the side. Still not going to look great. So I don't know. All, I mean, it's going to be less of an issue in the Odyssey, or it'll have its own issues, but... Um, sorry, in the uh, Chimera, I mean. I mean in the Chimera. So, yeah. Uh, we, uh, let's see, Star Trek Suicide Booths uh, with new individual being born with all the memories and sins of the prior, including the multiple suicides. Sounds perfectly fine to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh I think there there would be a real a real issue in the Star Trek universe with people uh, being hesitant to use transporters, um, for sure. Anyone seen the latest episode of Picard? Oh my God, what a member berry episode! 
It's like, here are all the ships ever. <laughs> and here are all the theme songs that you remember. <laughs> remember this? Remember Voyager? Remember Deep Space Nine? Remember the original Star Trek? Remember Kirk? <laughs> the only thing they didn't reference was Spock, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm a bit stumped on this layout. But the front room thing, I'm thinking that we at least can do something with that. I'm going to duplicate this floor because that's the kind of floor we want. Uh, and I think the... Um, at the very least, we definitely want there to be a holographic table in this position. So I'm going to delete this floor for now. Um, and I'm going to remove this to there. Uh, just temporarily. I don't know if we're going to keep that uh, hardware there. It might make more sense to have it towards the back. Um, but yeah, some way that you could uh, gather around, uh, view out the back, and then maybe in this area you kind of have the ready room. So there could be potentially like a little split here, and that's where, you know, the officers gather to uh, discuss tactics and whatnot. Let's see. Um, what about small smuggler's den? Uh, that could be for uh, bunks for main tower deck. I, I kind of like, if, if you're free, freeing up a bunch of room at towards the front of the ship, you could easily put more living quarters down there. I think it makes more sense to have um, this be thematic. So yeah, like a holographic navigation table makes sense. Let's grab this one uh, and move it upstairs. Uh, I've got to remember to remove this from the actual deck I put it on. So this is meant to be in deck B. We go remove selected objects. It's only removing the clone. And we get to move this table in. The question is, do we want a window down the front here or not? Or is the secret option you want both as usual? That's usually the answer I get given. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go out of my fancy browse mode so that we can uh, actually get this to come all the way down. Just going to use my vertex snap. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, there we go. That looks right. It frees the transformation so it always resets there. And that space, let's, let's kill the... Uh, Kill the upper deck again. Oh, okay. We uh, we left the floor on that deck, so let's let's remove that from mile ten conning tower. And that way, when we remove that, it is still there. So yeah, you kind of can see I've made this rim, and that's where I was thinking like it could have like a window or something. Pro window myself, both is good. I think the windows on a Starship should have blast doors slash shutters. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Kind of like the original Odyssey. Um, this is leftover. I don't know if... Um, it's not quite visible here because it's a bit of a, a pain in the ass to show off. But if you print this... Uh, let's see, I'm just selecting everything except the relevant polygons. There we go, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. So many things to select. So, okay, that looks about right. Now, if I invert this, this should leave me with the shutter, which was actually print in place, and you can actually pull that up. So this is what Dalton is talking about. Um, so we could potentially do something like that, although it's always much, much more difficult when it's on a la an angle. Uh, but, you know, we kind of have something to go off, right? I'll just uh, undo all that so we've got that open again. So that was an original Chimera design. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking you could just have a, a forward window there, maybe. Um... And then 
screens built around or something like that. I'm not sure if I want to use this or if we want to make some uh, floor tiles, but right now it feels like it maybe makes more sense to do it this way. Uh, we can remove this floor tile and uh, in fact this piece we don't need anymore because we're going to make a a custom version, right? So I'm going to delete that and we can probably grab the base of either this one. This one will be good. So let's move that over with our grid snap on. Whoops. Just to get an impression of like what we've got to work with. Um, and some of the issues that will be cropping up here, um, as you can kind of see, is like where the walls will connect, where they need to connect to the rest of the hole. Because uh, remember, if you're lifting this off too, you kind of need to lift it off with these uh, folds. And um, I don't know how this would actually, in practicality, if you did have it on the, uh, like, like basically, we would have to replace this insert uh, with something that can, or, or make this so that it can accommodate that gap, uh, essentially. So, uh, Let's see. Yep, no more comments. We're losing viewers. Oh, come on, guys. The, the more of you that drop off, surely you can just, like, just, like, minimize us and let us run in the background. <laughs> the less of you that there are, the longer we have to run. Uh, give yourself a long hug, shirts. What? Oh, uh... Okay, in Traveller, all of the windows are shuttered during jump. Looking on jump space tends to switch your wardrobe to all white and the arms to hang in the back. Yes. Uh, it's the same in Alien, actually. Which is why, uh, despite the incredible speeds that the ships can travel, which are actually quite fast. Um, yeah, uh, jump space makes you crazy, basically. So, uh, well, not, not just looking at jump space. It's like uh, something to do with FTL travel actually uh, mucks up your mind and can make you go crazy, which is why everyone has to get into cryo sleep. Um, you can only last like a day or two. Um, so yeah, it'll be a little bit of a nook, but if we're removing this, we do have more space. And uh, this one, I'm going to keep in... Actually, you know what, we'll... Uh, just move it to the side for now and we'll grab uh, this one to duplicate. And basically we'll just mirror that because uh, it's quite similar. And then take off the top area. So it seems like the similarities end pretty quick. But... Uh, Let's ditch that and ditch that, and that'll be a starting point uh, for when we want to accommodate all of that. And you can kind of see this comes down lower here. Uh, there was a few, a bit more tolerance in that ceiling than we needed. Um, you know, if I redesigned the Odyssey, uh, sorry, the Chimera completely today, I just, I couldn't. Well, this is what happened with the Odyssey, isn't it? Yeah, I tried just doing a new piece or two for the Chimera. It turned in a whole new ship, which had 95% new parts. Um, I don't have the time for that <laughs> anymore. Uh, we need to th start thinking about our next project beyond this, um, which of course is Starfighters 3, although I don't know that that will be the name. It's just a working title. So yeah, if we had, we can have like up to Let's see, if the ladder's there, maybe you want to partition there, and you've got a nice, healthy, let's see, four and a half, maybe even half a tile there. I don't want to go the whole way because we've got that sticking out. Uh, you know, rear of the ship, and potentially, potentially, uh, you could have some kind of viewport window at the back too. But it all depends on what we're doing with all these uh, tower pieces here at the top how far down they're going to come and how much that can basically mess with your brain for being too close to it. It's like, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately all the officers on the ship are now infertile because they uh, 
had their meetings beneath the uh, beneath these high powered uh, antennas or whatever they are. Um, maybe that's thinking a little bit too too much, uh, but also that that might limit the space that we have behind here. Uh, so we might have like some control panels with the towers down the bottom, uh, with not not a crawl space but like a a sort of like service area, right? So potentially we could put another computer unit in here somewhere. Um, so much going on. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, as let's see, we've been talking about space whales all of a sudden. What's going on here? I've missed tons. Uh, okay. Uh, but the rubber room comes equipped with fluffy muffins. Okay. In Star Wars, if you look into hyperspace, you'll see whales. Space whales are preferred by John. Uh, as much as I disdain Warhammer 40k, the idea of flying through hell is uh, as FTL is funny, and also uh, you could also say that's uh, Event Horizon for you, mm -hmm. although that's folding in that. Um, uh, in CJ Cherry H's, I, I think that's probably a misspelling. Cherry Hurts books most ot breathing species have to go into a trance or trank on cells during jump uh, never let ben scratch an itch for just a few new parts <laughs> uh, no always let him do that <laughs> just monetize it i mean that's what we did right and that's keeping the lights on for a little while longer although yeah everything's costing a lot more here these days um such a, a 3D printing acid trip. I just started with one or two pieces. I woke up a month later with a case of the munchies, an entirely new ship. That is kind of almost on point. Uh, 20 buckaroos. <laughs> uh, print responsibly, kids. <laughs> Bottom level should have been a spinal mounted weapon, and the bridge is just the targeting crew. Um, and that's why space crew are have eggs and sperm frozen before they can start their careers uh yeah that makes sense actually okay cherry is the correct spelling of her surname is it spelt pronounced cherry though with a silent h uh, who knows the space worlds are called pergil very good thank you john wayan for weighing in <laughs> i made a funny uh, Alvin didn't like it. <laughs> it's like we were just about to get our monetization <laughs> and then he squares and all of this is demonetized. The hours don't count. This is all for naught. Uh, let's see. Reminder, we have a scheduled meeting with MMF on the hour. Oh boy, we do too. I forgot about that completely. Okay, we can't stream that long, guys. Uh, so it'll be ending at, uh, say, 5-2. Uh, so that'll be fun, meeting our new rep for my mini factory. Uh, do you have a link to that, John? Ruka has retracted a message, just so everyone knows. Uh, let's see. Um, see, it's more fun planning this out with you guys because I don't... Look, I say it myself so many times, you should never listen to just a minority of people but since you guys are the only ones actually talking you have a surprising amount of influence <laughs> uh, let's see i mean ultimately i'm the one that chooses just duplicating these this is not the way we would do it in the end but like yeah i can see a ready room being in there and like a little window at the back and yeah we could probably do some kind of shuddering system where we just leave a channel um, I kind of like it as a concept. I, I, I kind of am think like I wanted to split this open like before it was completely closed, but I think the split makes it feel a little cooler. The towers, I don't know if I will keep the asymmetry. What do you guys think about the asymmetry on the towers? Um, they're obviously not finished. And then, of course, the place where you would split is here. So this will probably move back to, like, say, here. Something like that. Um, so that you can uh, extend at this point. 
And you can kind of see there the difference between my old style uh, side and this is a slightly more smooth version. Let's see, uh, I believe the H at the end is silent. Uh, she's the author of Chanur, or is it Hanur, or Kanur, <laughs> uh, and Alliance slash Union series of books. Uh, as a reminder, that curse word is not permitted on YouTube streams. Please remove your tongue album. Uh, technically, they, they did walk back on that and said you can't swear in the first, like, 30 yeah, seconds. Is, yeah. Uh, um, so, okay. we're fine. This is really not appropriate for kiddies anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, technically, they're not going to be scarred for life. Um, I find that I need feedback on my work to make it better. Yeah, I mean, feedback helps a lot. And I, I feel like I can do stuff in an, like... If you want to see pure Ben, like the, the Beta Centauri was like totally me, but then I started working on feedback and, you know, it's great for getting ideas for doing like stretch goals and whatnot, but I have been really bad. I've been saying I want, you know, to appeal more to the community about community guided stuff, but um, I don't know how to do it right yet because I still need to have my own inspiration and then it's like, okay, well, what stellarship are we doing Blah, blah, blah. Um, I miss the Psycho Rabbit sensor. <laughs> I mean, you could probably add the... I guess you can't really add it back in. Um, may, maybe if we, like, scale these back down, you could technically probably have... Um, add these back in. Uh, but, of course, that was uh, more like this. And then, uh, let's see. That should be zero. Actually, it should be 90, apparently. So it was more like something like this. I don't hate it, it just adds to the sensors. I just thought it looked a bit busy if it was like both scales. Um, so that does look a bit too busy now. Uh, of course the other option would be that you put, I don't know what Alvin's doing, he's messing around with his vehicle. Um, let's see, I had a co-worker who loved extended trucks. He wanted a three row truck with a full length truck bed frack uh that's some gundam level headdress um i i would say like actually gundam stuff is not all that complicated it's very boxy i was surprised um if you want really busy stuff then you you get into your yamato and, and um actually the stf1 has the most busy bridge section of all i mean it is massive but still um yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I like the rabbit ears, but it doesn't make these towers feel important anymore. Like, it feels a bit too busy. Um, but if we did just move this back into the original positions, so you've got a secondary sort of tower, that might be a compromise to be had. I kind of like the look of that. see and then just back like five degrees oh john thank you so much for reminding me about that meeting see technically we wouldn't have to do too much there and that kind of like adds to the busyness without it being um insane the other thing we could potentially do is uh, move this back there and then maybe do something like like a 45 degree. What do we think of that? I mean that it does kind of highlight how offset that is, but we could potentially just move this over a tad, right? To somewhere like that. 
But that would, to me, signal that we want to center this piece a bit more. Take off that asymmetry. But that does look kind of cool. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, fit for Captain Ben. This is the Royal Odyssey. <laughs> uh, I like this idea. Um, for the Royal Odyssey, the upper tower is a throne slash kinky place. <laughs> Is uh, it is what you literally pay me for? Uh, but thank you for saying thanks. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Or that might be the steroid. <laughs> Are you going to be able to talk during this meeting, John? I like this. What do you guys think? It could probably just be another five degrees out. See, that 45 degree angle is nice. Can you turn it a little more outward as well? That's what I just did. Um, and of course, if we aligned it this way, you could basically make it go in a, I would say, probably like a 120 degree arc, whichever way you want. Uh, this will actually be easier to model because I can just recycle existing parts, uh, which is nice. And this does have the Second Dynasty sort of feel and appeal to it. And I, I like that there are parts of the Slave near in it. Uh, let's see. I would love a sensor like the hexagonal mirrors found at the James Webb uh, telescope. Would you now, Dalton? Uh, I bet you would. I uh, like that idea. But I'm not sure if it's stretch goal level that sounds like a would be cool to put that on a turret or something but that's that's a, a good interesting thing to say uh psycho cyclops rabbit 2.0 for the win okay so it's working for people is what i'm taking away from that um i'm really liking the way that this is looking i have to admit like uh on friday i was like oh, i hate this design and we got rid of the balls. Everyone said, no balls. They don't like the balls. They were too big. Too big. They were just dangling out there. Not doing too much. It was maybe a little too Star Wars-y too. And like, it looked like a overcompensating Star Wars spawn. Um, let's see. Uh, not to be a pain, but the ball joints could work for the ears. <laughs> well, you know what? You're a modeler that blasted Samophons, you can add them back yourself. I will send you the model if you want it. It was very, very simple. Um, next project, James Webb community effort. Yes, we turned the James Webb into a science fiction laser. <laughs> so yeah, we need to work on that ladder placement, but I think I think I think for now this might be settled. I don't know. I'm not 100% loving it because to get to the lockers, you would have to basically have the door closed or, you know, it seems a bit perilous. Uh, of course, you could leave that empty. Uh, I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And the ladder would come down at a slightly awkward position because it would be like... Uh, let's see. Let's move that there. Uh, and then we'll just duplicate that so we can see where it comes down. But I believe it should be like here. So it'll be just slightly off center. But it feels like if you imagine there was no wall around this, it wouldn't be too invasive. Um, as far as getting to the next la uh, le level was concerned. Like it wouldn't be invasive to this passage. This is still quite generous. Like obviously from one stripe to the next is 1.5 meters anyone that's been on a naval vessel i've only ever been on decommissioned ones uh but it is considerably less wide than that uh so i think uh you know we've got got some contenders here uh for the design and layout so the top would be the bridge and then we can just add maybe uh, a second station uh, on the opposite end here. I don't know if we... Wouldn't you hate to be this guy that's like, here's an airlock either side and you're stuck in the back. 
Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, maybe it works if it's like here. No, that still doesn't work. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. I See, we would save so much room if we ditch the airlocks, but I don't know that I want to. Um, bye, Delton. Um, and I also have to prep for a meeting in a minute, but we're going to stay on for five more minutes because uh, we need all of them. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe, please. Please, it's going to be even more necessary now if we get our approval. Um, but no, seriously, um, I need some feedback from you guys about the side air looks. And in fact, let's run a quick poll. I'm going to engage with my audience. You are the audience. Welcome. Um, keep the side air looks or not, because we could potentially put one on the back. All right, and there's our options. Ask the community. Go ahead and vote for that. It should be in the chat. Actual naval ships, uh, the people don't have to be on one each square base. That's true, indeed. And also, like, because we, this was a big discussion on our message boards, 28mm uh, miniatures aren't really correctly to 1 to 59 scale. The correct scale is based on the width of those squares, right? So technically, even 28mm miniatures a slightly too large um the old adage is it's like uh would be 28 millimeters would be the measurement from the foot to the eye level on a six foot character um second station fighter con <laughs> control uh the side airlocks do seem like a security risk yeah well okay there is one thing to consider if we leave them on you get a new refurbished part for your Odyssey. Um, if you don't like them, you could replace them with these windows, or you could potentially put in uh, some of the side armaments, or if you happen to own an actual Chimera, just a regular wall. Uh, so that would be one option. Another option is to, despite the fact that we just added some symmetry back in, introduce some asymmetry by having an airlock only on one side so it would be more like an emergency point of aggress right the other thing too is like if we did have this port it would almost make more sense to do it like this and then to actually have a ladder going down onto the top deck but again that will also be hanging out over the top so um let's see we got currently this is maybe our most controversial vote ever um because at present we have no votes <laughs> for keeping the side airlocks oh, okay and then all of these crazy suggestions like hey stephanie how you doing um mon capitan welcome uh, although we're about to finish up in a couple of minutes because i've got another meeting and john reminded me that i've double booked <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, actual naval ships, uh, yeah, blah, 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 uh, the side airlock do seem to be a security risk, um, looks like a 12 volt charging point on a car, you know, there is something to be said for removing this, because when they do open up, this is obviously not the way, but it may conflict with these, um, side sensors, so, okay, will I bow to the will of the people? That is a good question. <laughs> um, maybe. Because what, what, what does it give us? What does it give us if we remove that? If we take out the airlock and just let's just pretend that the opposite side. Uh, one, one, for one thing, we don't have to customize this flooring as much, uh, which would be wonderful uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, actually, no, we do. Because all of our other ladders are, you know, sideways pointing. Uh, well, actually, actually, if we had no airlock here, it wouldn't be so weird to have the ladders oriented like this, would it? So you could still have a ladder like, uh, what the hell is going on there? Is it too high up or something? Oh, no, we're just missing a floor there. Okay. Um so yeah, we um, you could have the ladder there instead. Uh, of course, it would be here. 
no matter what this is going to require a custom floor so i don't know i don't know but that would be an alternative and if this is open you know that ladder well being there doesn't cost you as much it could have like a little control panel in the corner or something um they could still access like a breaker box or i don't know 50 50 ah oh, if it's 50 50 that would just mean that we get rid of one airlock <laughs> right all right guys we are going to have to end this on a cliffhanger so i can make my meeting i'm sorry it wasn't longer I really like the adjustments you guys have helped me make. The tower now looks really cool. Let's let's try isolating this a little bit more. Obviously, we're missing a few pieces, so you have to use your imagination. Uh, but yeah, we have this nice... Uh, it really fits in with the Second Dynasty style. We've got some busy details going on. I think this is going to be really cool. We need to work a little bit more on that layout. Uh, and those people should not be listen to keep who keep saying the voice of the people is the voice of god since uh right right i think you mean righteousness not right uh since the riotousness <laughs> righteousness of the crowd is always very close to madness okay blah 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 <laughs> all right guys thank you so much daily stream daily stream you want me to stream more we'll see what happens all right, guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, we will be back on Friday, as long as it's not actually Easter on Friday. I don't think it's Good Friday. Um, I think it's the week after. All right, I really got to go, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for making it happen. And if we get partnership with YouTube, thank you for being a part of that, especially right now. Bye, guys.